Welcome to Explore the Way. In this video, I am going to explain the phenomena electrostatic discharge. First of all, how a static charge created on an object or body. If we rub two different materials together, that means they are come in contact and separate. In some materials, there is an exchange of some electrons from one material to the other. Once this happens, one material with an excess number of electrons and the other has an equal number of missing electrons. This is called tribocharging. This imbalance of electrons means the objects are electrically charged. One of the object is positively charged and the other one is negatively charged. When such a body with excess number of electrons come in contact with another body with lower potential, then that object finds a discharge path to transfer the excess charge. So, immediately there is a sudden flow of static electricity between the two charged bodies for a very short duration. It feels like a jerk or shock. This phenomena is called electrostatic discharge. Electrostatic discharge often occurs in everyday situation. Electrostatic discharge damages the electronic devices very badly. The heat from the electrostatic discharge event is extremely high. The heavy heat can melt or vaporize the small parts in the IC boards. Many years ago, that means when thermionic walls or vacuum tubes were used, it was not a problem. Even with transistors, it is not a big problem. But when MOSFETs were introduced, their failure rates are increased because MOSFETs are static sensitive and more prone to damage. Due to this ESD event, it can generate very high voltages, but it varies from situation to situation. For example, walking across a carpet with plastic sole shoes and touch a doorknob, in this case, it generates 3000 volts. In an IC, ESD event occurs approximately at 30 volts. That means an electronic device fails at approximately 30 volts. Nowadays, modern electronic microchips are static sensitive. To protect from ESD damage, various methods can be used. There is a need to protect the CMOS devices from electrostatic damage. We need to use protection method at the input, output and at the power bus also. The effective circuit at the input of MOS device is to increase the gate oxide thickness. In submicron technology, oxide thickness is very thin. Therefore, the electric field is quite large, which is equal to gate voltage by oxide thickness. Yes, the oxide thickness decreases, effective electric field increases. So, the primary effective way is to increase the gate oxide thickness. Secondly, input protection circuit is added between the input pad and the MOSFET gate. During ESD, when a large positive voltage is applied to the input pad, the diodes D1 and D2 undergo breakdown and it prevents the CMOS circuit from damage. And this is the another input protection circuit. In this circuit, under normal operation, D1, D2 are reverse biased. If input voltage is greater than supply voltage, that means greater than VDD, D1 conducts. And if the input voltage is less than ground, that means negative, then D2 conducts. These two diodes which will bring excess voltages to normal level. That protects the CMOS devices. This is about ESD. If you like this video, please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon. Thanks for watching.